looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Team of the Week, Week 16 and 17 reveal. Now, as you guys know, they did pre-reveal uh, pre and sneak some of the ones from yesterday. But that's about it. We got some of those here. We have a ton more to go over. Some plus ones, some LTDs, some surprise ones. It's pretty exciting, guys. This is the final Week 16 and Week 17 of the Team of the Week promo. So that means that's it. Team of the Week's done, which does mean something super exciting. That does mean we're getting Team of the Year very very soon like i said it probably within the next seven days today's tuesday i imagine by friday we have friday could be team of the year we may even get a reveal thursday night it, it could be that soon it could be monday i'm not sure but i know we're gonna get a ton of playoff contests this week team of the year and super bowl right around the corner as well but guys before we get into the video subscribe turn that on bell and guys if you're new or anything or any any reason if you're, if you're a loyal sub so uh hit the like button can we get 50 likes in today's morning content video guys likes help a lot you guys have been killing it let's keep it going guys it helps the channel out let's keep it up Go smash the like button. And of course, comment down below who is your favorite team of the week drop this week. Let's get into this. So, first player on the list that we do have is Santana Moss. You guys must have saw a stat yesterday, so I'm not going to do too much here. But 95 speed. Um, he gets all the routing thresholds, all the catching thresholds. He can be powered up, so he will have 96 speed. One of the best wide receivers in the game. Luke Keekly, linebacker, sadly. So people aren't going to care about him, but he will get above 90 zone, 95 hit power, good block shed, good speed. And I believe he's like 6'3", so one of the best linebackers. Alvin Kamara is the first plus one we'll be getting here. This makes the Alvin Kamara car one of the best running backs in the game. He was already up there, but he only had a 94 speed. Now he gets, I believe, a 95 or even a 96, right? So he's going to be crazy good because that's what he was missing, right? He was missing that little the little bit of speed on... um. That was the difference between him and Bo Jackson. He has it now, and he's super agile, so he actually may take over. He, might, he was right there with Aaron Foster, right there with uh, Barry Sanders, and, of course, um, Bo Jackson. Andrew Van Ginkle, that's a funny name. Uh, not too great speed, not the greatest pass rush, not great. AJ Dillon for the Packers, 90 speed actually faster than I thought they'd make him. Not bad. Darius Phillips, 94 speed cornerback. I mean, if you're a Bengals team kind of guy, I don't think there's many of them, but if there is, not bad. Jamison Crowder for the Jets, uh, good speed, I guess, decent, decent speed. Um, uh, nothing else really that great. Randy Gregory for the Cowboys, 93 finesse proof, 87 speed will probably be, oh, 88 block shed too, probably will be a goon on a Cowboys team team, low key. Let's see, Michael Gallup's going to be this week's uh, hero. This is week 16, I believe. Michael Gallup looks insane, actually. Now, 94 speed, 94 jumping, 91 catching, 95 catch and traffic, 95 spec, 91 short running, 93 medium running, 94 deep. Now, the only issue with him is that he does not get a power-up, it seems like. Now, if he had, he had a power-up, he'd be one of the best savers in the game. But now we're getting 96 speeds all around all around the place. So, got to hurt him a little bit, but he does have a really, he has a really cool card out right there. Um, really good catching, of course. Really great spec. Gonna get 99 deep out running, maybe 99 spec. Looks super good. Now, the only thing like I said he's missing is going to be that power up. The power up does hurt him now. I thought the heroes got power up, so I know Kralo did mention briefly that we may be getting power ups in the near future, and that, that typically happens on Wild Card Wednesday. So I do expect for the most part that we will be getting power ups in the near future. Considering today is Tuesday, right? I believe we could be getting them as of tomorrow, hopefully. Don't give us veterans, don't give us heavyweights, give us power ups. That's what we want. That's what we need. That's so about it for that. Now, next card, we have Jared Cook. He's going to be the LTD for Week 16 on the Titans. That's cool. I, didn't, I thought maybe they give him Raiders, or maybe they give him Rams, or maybe you know, they, or Saints. But no, they gave him they gave him uh, Jared Cook on the Titans. This one, I don't know how long ago this was. I forget the exact year, but only 91 speed. That does that's upsetting, right? So if they want to give us a LTD tight end 96 overall, Jared Cook, two out of all people, should have had 93 speed at least. Make him fast, not the fastest tight end, and he can't even be tied because he doesn't even get a power up. But does get crazy spec, great catching, and amazing route running. But again, you can get guys like Tony G, guys like Joni Smith. All these guys who are going to be slightly faster have the same catching, if not better, and better route running, and better run blocking, even if slightly, right? Next, we have uh, Sean Ellis. He was the guy for week 17, I believe we're in now. So Sean Ellis will get 94 play record, 94 block shed, 90 power move, 81 finesse, 94 strength. Now, overall, guys, if you look at him here, the block shed's good. The power move is good. He's not that great, though. I mean, he's left end, but he's super slow. There's a lot of faster options. Jamal Charles. I'm actually really excited for this card. He does come with a power-up. Cool-looking ball card art right there. 94 speed, 95 excel, 94 agility, 92 carrying, 80 catching, 94 change of direction, 64 trucking, and 93 break tackle. Now, this card looks pretty, pretty good for the most part. Again, that catching is going to make him, you know, kind of like the Christian McCaffrey-esque build, Saquon Barkley. 
he gets a decent amount of power with the brake tackle no truck though now the thing is arian foster had 99 brake tackle with a faster speed so i'm not entirely sure how much more the brake tackle is gonna make a difference but i imagine 99 brake tackle is pretty op on arian foster he's gonna be good he's gonna be really good uh 90 he will get 95 speed 95 change of direction i really like him but again i don't know if he's better than alvin or um arian foster next we have dean marlowe for the buffalo bills good speed good hit power good pursuit decent all around but i don't think he's fast enough to be on the team right now next we have brandon cook so this is just a plus one of course so brandon cooks will get a plus one in his other card so it's whatever his last card was put put some speed on that card next we have troy hill 92 speed cornerback for the rams we'll get 81 zone as well probably decent on a Rams team team with 96 excel but that's about it jk dobbins another running back guys it's been pretty running back heavy today uh jk dobbins will have a 91 speed 80 break tackle 85 change direction gonna be very well rounded but not good at all in terms of being able to be played maybe on a ravens team team probably still not there's got to be someone else throughout history of legends that has a Ravens cam available for there. Um, Leonard Williams. I find it funny that Leonard Williams was supposed to be like, a, not generational, but supposed to be like the top overall player in the draft. The Jets took him. He busted on their team. Just, it wasn't working out. He gets he comes to the Giants for pretty cheap. And we actually made something of him so far, right? At least. I mean, if you can keep this up, guys, it would be a steal for us to have acquired a first overall top three pick, right? Like first round top three pick. For what we got him for for him to actually start playing like it hopefully he keeps it up and this wasn't just like a momentum prove it kind of year you know what i mean hopefully we could sign him and he could actually keep up too not hopefully but hopefully he can actually play well and keep up what he's been doing but yeah uh, leonard williams right here 93 power with 91 block shed really good overall looks like he could play defensive tackle or end more in madden at least it'll be more defensive tackle next we got marvin jones jr for the detroit lions 91 speed bad route running good catching not good enough for madden no route running no speed Jonathan Taylor is going to be this week's, uh, well, week 17's hero. 94 speed. Now, I wish he had a power up again. You know, the card that if he had a power up would be a lot better. 94 Excel, 90 agility, 95 carrying, 74 catching, 89 change of direction, 89 trucking, 94 break tackle. Super well rounded, but so well rounded that the change of direction is going to hinder him. And so is the, like, the trucking's whatever. I'd rather take 20 off that truck and put 20 on the change of direction, right? I'd rather have 99 change of direction there. But, I mean, the card's good overall. I mean, for a Colts team, team, probably pretty good. I mean, they do have Edger and James as well, but I know Taylor should be better than him just off speed alone. Um, I don't know who else the Colts have, but he's going to be good. Next, we got Dak Prescott as the final LTD for the year. That's back-to-back -back Cowboy Hero and LTD since we got Gallup as well. 88 speed, 94 throw power, 96 short, 94 medium, 94 deep, 93 throw under pressure, 95 throw on the run, 94 play action. Overall, this card looks absolutely insane for the most part. It's going to have... I mean, if you go play fake, 99 short and 99 medium. If you go go deep, oh, and 99 throw power as well. I'm pretty sure if you power him up and chem him up. So he's going to have 99 throw power, 99 short, 99 medium with 89 speed. Or he could have 99 deep with a few other things as well as 99 throw power, 89 speed. Now, of course, there are some other quarterbacks that did come out recently that can test this a little bit. You know, we have some, we've had some good ones, um, but Dak may be one of the best quarterbacks in the game. The only issue is he's an improviser. I know this year everyone's been more strong arm slash field general. So I'm not sure how much this is going to affect, you know, his overall rankings in the quarterbacks right now, but he does look super, super good, especially, you know, it's Dak. I mean, Cowboy fans will be happy. I've never really been a fan of playing with Dak and Madden for the most part, but that's like reg teams and stuff. Ultimate team is probably fine. Stats look great. Uh, he's going to be a good card overall. But guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's team of the week. That pretty much covers everything. And this is team of the week 16 and 17, so we're officially done. Expect team of the year news at least within the next three days. If not by Friday, the whole thing out. And at worst case scenario, you know it's within the week or at least the reveal. But that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you guys are new, subscribe, turn the notification bell, comment down below. Let me know who's your favorite team of the week player here. Who was your favorite team of the week player from weeks one through 17? Who was the one that stood out to you? Was it Derrick Henry? Was it, you know, whatever, whoever it was, let me know down below. And of course, guys, if you watched this and you enjoyed it, like the video. Can we get 50 likes in today's morning video? That would be greatly appreciated. But that's it. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you need coins, pick up any of these players when they drop later today at around 2. Head on over to Mutt Reserve in the link down below. Use code Poodle for 30% off. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.